Merch is back, baby! That's right, we're launching our new merch site with a bunch of fun designs. We got logo tees, classics like the Synthwave tee, the Durian tee, the 10 out of 10 tee and hoodie, and the fan favorite collegiate tee and hoodie. Ooh! Why not get tried up in time for Paddy's Day and get yourself something green? <laughs> like that! Magic. So head to try.media slash merch and use the code TRYSTORE to get 20% off. I think we're having a drink. Oh, are we? Well, that's after the shoot. Yes, that's true. What are we doing now? I think we're pre-drinking. Oh, we're pre-drinking for drinks, drinks after. We're oh, great. pre-gaming. Like whiskey? Yes. The hell kind of a question is that? I know. He knows. He, yeah, we do. The hell kind of a question is that, though? A German whiskey. Maybe Australian. Oh, Australia. Yeah. yeah. A Swedish whiskey. Would you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I feel the Swedes, they do good stuff. <laughs> Name so. me a country that does not make whiskey. That's probably an easier thing to do, yeah. 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 Ooh. Ooh. The famous grouse. The famous grouse. I've definitely had it before. I can't remember what it tastes like. Blended Scotch whiskey. Okay, so we are keeping it close to home. <laughs> Big originally. countries. Yeah. Yeah. To, yeah. Start. to yeah. start. The last time I drank the Scotch property was the, the time that we won't speak of. <laughs> I'm getting flashbacks. <laughs> okay. I don't like a smoky whiskey, and most scotch is smoky. So I'm not a massive fan of scotch, but I know it's very good. Have you had famous scars before? I might have had it in the video before, but it wasn't memorable. It wasn't memorable. No. It wasn't that famous. Mildly renowned grouse. Mildly renowned, <laughs> yeah. Mm. Hey, that's nice. It's not as um, intense. As I remember it. Bernie, but in a good way. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah. I sometimes find uh, scotch really, really smoky, and that is That's like not... super smooth. Yeah, it's not smoky at all. I throw this whiskey into like a hot toddy or a hot whiskey or something like that. I'd use this in like a cocktail or something. Yeah, I don't know if I'd have it straight. Yeah. If they ever make one of an equivalent of this in Ireland, it's going to be like infamous seagull. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a sweetness in there as well. Yeah. That's, I, uh... I, I think that might be my favorite scotch that I've had. It's not my favorite, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to drink all of it. <laughs> Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. You know, the more of it you put in your mouth, the better it is. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna be oh, honest, yeah. I don't think we could have had a bad start, so. It, it's a whiskey video, they're yeah. all gonna be 10 out of 10. That's good, that's a good, I don't think any other trier has done a writing system on, on whiskeys before, so no. I'm glad that Paddy, never, Paddy Murphy has originated You know what, I'm here, I'm here to that. bring new things, new ideas, be yeah. innovative, yeah. you know? Bring new things to the channel that have never been done before, mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm glad to assist, I'm yeah. glad to help. Instant regret. <laughs> we're fine, Colin. Instant, We've had one drink. Instant, Give instant, us another. We're fine. We're regret. okay. We're okay. Let's, let's not do we're... Ooh. I think this, this is, is whiskey. A little thing. I think you might be right. Ooh. That's a cool nice bottle. bottle. <gasps> you said Swedish. I did say you Swedish. Did Swedish. Hey, McMira. Swedish single malt whiskey. Oh. Brooks whiskey. McMire's core expression is a light Swedish whiskey matured primarily in first fill bourbon barrels and also includes whiskey bourbon aged bourbon. in sherry and Swedish oak casks too. Oh, lovely. As well as some smokier malt, which all adds to the complexity. I, I work with some Swedish people and they are lovely people, but it, Sweden seems so different from Ireland. There's a thing in Sweden, like if you have a guest over, and the family's well, having food. you don't food. feed them. You don't feed is your guests. Is that guest. true? That is true. Because I asked him about it and they're like, yes, why would we feed the guest? <laughs> I was going to say, like, do you think there's ever any confusion where like somebody's asking, what's it taste like? Is it sweet? No, it's Swedish. Ah, of course it is. It smells really smoky. It's very delicate, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's light. That's really different. It is different. That's what I'm liking about it. It's different. No burn. Although it is stronger, I think, than the last one. It's 41. No way. Point four, like one and a half percent. It tastes weaker though. Yeah. It's, in that way. it's a nice warm mouthfeel. It's, I don't think it's very subtle, but I like that about it. You know the difference between German porn and Swedish porn? Obviously. I think that's, I think that says it all, isn't it? I'm, of course. Right? Say no more. Yeah. You're liking it more than I am. I'm liking it way more because I like <laughs> a light whiskey that just basically like evaporates into your mouth. Okay, this is this is real stupid, but I love it. The barcode on the back, the lines then turn into barley. What? That has immediately made this my favorite whiskey ever. I think it's great. Hey, listen, if you're going to make if you're if you're if you're a country not known for your whiskey making and you're going to make your own whiskey, yeah, fucking stand out. Look so around. That's, yeah, absolutely. The sweets are just so good at everything to do, except for sharing the food. 
Except for sharing their food. <laughs> no, that was nice. That was. I feel like there's almost like a herbal note to it. Like it was subtle. It was very subtle. Yeah. A little bit too subtle for me. Now. What's that called? Just, it's gonna be. We're, we're the, the, we're it's supposed, it's supposed to be gonna be the greatest moment of the video. Um, we know you're not a fan of subtlety because you're wearing that shirt. <laughs> oh, oh, nice bottle. Looks like a giant bottle of. Uh, oh, is it Indian? A captivating expression from the going shores of India. <laughs> The Nirvana arouses the senses mm. with a soft whiff of bourbon, fruitcake, and enticing caramel pudding. This has turned into erotica. It really much has. Much quicker than I thought. I don't know about you, but I'm aroused. Gently touches the palate with a mild, salt-tinged barley, while the succulent vanilla heralds the honeyed finish of this rich copper whiskey. It sounds like you're reading Fifty Shades of Grey here. <laughs> Assuring sublime experiences beyond the worldly realm <laughs> as he slowly slides into her tender love pudding. <laughs> Nirvana. I like Nirvana. Yeah. But the, but the band and the concept. <clears throat> She's rolling it around your mouth. so fancy. It's very rich. Very rich. That's so unusual. Ooh, that may be my favourite one so far, it's actually. It's so good. That's really good. That's not like a whiskey I've tried before. Sticks with you. Sticks with you. Uh, in more ways than one. Mm. I feel like I'm going to be having wet dreams about Paul John whiskey tonight. <laughs> is this the best one so far? It, it's definitely... Again, it's very, sorry, to, it's, but it is very different from the other two as well. We've yeah. had very three distinctive this ones. This has been so, so interesting. Ooh, that may be my favourite one so far. I think yeah. it's nice, it's smooth. Yeah, it's smooth, it's smooth. S sorry, smooth. 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 Do you feel like you've achieved Nirvana? Uh, I do actually, yes, mm -hmm. I do. Do you? Um, really? Well, actually, no, I think something's in the way. Um, <laughs> I'm desperately trying to think of a Nirvana song title pun and I, my mind isn't working. Sounds mm. like Teen Spirits. Like, he never misses. Dang. Okay. Oh, I just saw where it's from. Uh, 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 I'm just gonna look at it from here, and I feel like it's uh, a French whiskey. <laughs> this is from, I believe, Chateau no. Le Bruyere, who make Calvados, which is apple brandy. So oh, okay. They're obviously doing whiskey now. I'm surprised that I haven't come across any French whiskey before, because the French definitely enjoy the finer things in life. 100% golden promise. Oh. Oh. Just as we like it. I've, I've never had a golden <laughs> promise in my life. All my promises have been bronze at best. Well, you're not going to cheers me. Just going to go oh, for sorry. it. Oh, sorry. Five. Five. <laughs> you golden promised. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. That is um, powerful. There's something about it that I'm not as obsessed with as the other ones. Like, it's spicy, which I like. Or, to me, it's spicy. It's a bit spicy. But, yeah, it is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you you definitely feel the higher alcohol going down. But it's smooth. Like, it's it's easy drinking. Like, you yeah. can feel a coat. But I didn't feel that go It didn't go burn. Down. It didn't burn. Like, it affects the front of your mouth an awful lot. But yeah. it doesn't burn down the throat. Yeah. Do you know what I think is throwing me off here? I think if you'd served this first, I'd be like, oh, that's really nice. That's the kind of whiskey I was kind of expecting from this thing. This whole thing. But I because we've like... had three quite indis uh, distinct yeah. ones that I'm not used to, or at least two that I'm very not used to, that uh, this has kind of kind of gone back. Le Brie. Yeah. yeah. Um, very different to other whiskeys. Definitely, if you're a whiskey lover, I would try it. C'est bon. And I'm actually very surprised because the other French whiskeys that I had, mm -hmm. no offense to them, were a bit meh. Okay, but this. That's actually really nice. Like, I could, yeah. I could drink that of an evening. After Nirvana, this is more like territorial pissings, if you know what I mean. Got the territorial pissings reference in there. Well done. But I, it doesn't work because I like it. So, although I do like piss as well. Moving on. This is a nice pale one. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my god, Tika. Oh my god, I haven't had this one. Oh, it's, oh, oh you know it is. Oh wow. I haven't had this one before. Are you okay? I'm so excited. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Um, the like, where did you get? <laughs> King of Blender since 1965. Black rich blend, rich and well balanced taste for the casual whiskey enthusiast. So this is like, hey, this is Your baby's first day, whiskey. Yeah. Both the name and the colors. Uh, make me think of coffee. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a coffee branding. It's like mm -hmm. the rich blend. 1965. They do the sweetest. It's like it's like fucking honey. Okay. Like you could literally just pop a straw in that and then just have yourself a merry old time. Strong on the nose. <laughs> it, oh yeah, it looks very sultry. 
It looks like something you'd only drink at night time. So how does it taste, Darren? Uh, like a hand. There's not much going on there. It's, it's not very light. Isn't it just the most beautiful thing? It's like nectar. It's like honey. That's fucking unreal. Actually, that's not bad. <laughs> Do you know I think it might be though? We just had 46% and we've gone back to 40. So maybe our... Right, okay. Yeah. Um, although I've had stronger than 46% drinks that tasted lighter. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, that's true as well. Real. Like you could put it in your porridge. Oh, that's unreal. It's so gorgeous. Oh. But it's, it's actually dangerously like easy to drink. Oh no, that's I, I no like Gone. I I love to sup. You know, I love to sup, but I would I I that's going very it's very very magic. quickly. That's amazing. Think, what is it about this that you're not loving? It's sharp. Maybe I've just my palate has just been beaten down so much by whiskey, I no longer notice the sharp edges. No, the bottle lets on that it's a lot more sophisticated than it is. It's a fairly simple whiskey. And I expected more from you. <laughs> that, is, that is, that is, what is that? Uh, can you, Colin, can you look at uh, the Japanese for a fucking class, boys? <laughs> you know when you first taste alcoholic spirits mm -hmm. as a teen, yeah. like from your parents' press or whatever, mm -hmm. that's what, you know, like an uh, reaction. That yeah. to me is what that tastes like. You want burn. <laughs> I, I want the burn, I want to feel something. Anything. I want to feel anything. For the love of God, anything. And it's not making me feel the emotions that I need to feel when I'm drinking whiskey. Which are depression. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, or just blind rage. <laughs> blind, <laughs> blind, furious rage. <laughs> so guys, that is a selection of whiskeys around the world that can be raw. That was so fun. I think the world is a big place and we need to try more. We do. If I had to go back and drink one of them again now, mm -hmm. I'd drink Le Brille. Really? Yeah. Okay. But you wouldn't be annoyed with any of them. Like, oh God! No. Available for any and all global whiskey trying videos. You know. Same. Consider me a citizen of the world. Yeah. Uh, I he can like he can you can hide in my suitcase. Yeah. I, I don't I, even I, know if he has a passport. Yeah. No, I I don't. I'm 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 banned from a lot of countries. Most of the countries you've tasted from today, I'm actually banned from. But it doesn't they matter. I I still come in. That's this is how I experience the countries is through this channel because I'm not allowed into them. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've liked watching this. You can click the bell, you can subscribe and you can hit the notification button and you can watch us on Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays. And there you go. And then you'll see us drinking because you More know whiskey. what? We, we never drink. So it's a special <laughs> occasion.